Hey everybody and happy new year. Welcome back to Deep in the Hair TV. I'm so glad that we all made it. Today my little cousin is here to get a slick low ponytail. So that's what we're going to do. I'm starting out by pressing her edges. She wants her ponytail super silky today, so you need them edges slicked, okay? Also, um, the video before last, I'll put a link for it at the end, but the video before last, I taught you how to test your hot comb. So make sure that you test your hot comb on paper towel before you use it. Next, you're going to put your part wherever you or your client wants it so you can set up the foundation for the ponytail. So in order to make a slick ponytail, you have to start with straight hair. So I'm going to go ahead and press it out with our new flat irons. Um, they will be dropping on January 22nd, guys. So I'll make sure that you know that on YouTube. Just like I tell Instagram and Facebook, I'm going to make sure YouTube knows. Next, using my shears from HerStrandsOfHair.com. Aren't these all that? These are so lit. I love my gold shears, and they have new Japanese steel on them. So she does have some in stock. So don't be getting under my picture talking about they sold out because you waited. Go grab some. Now I'm just trimming my cousin's ends because she really needed it. She looked at it. She's like, oh, my God, that's a lot of hair. I'm like, ma'am, you, you want to keep that on there or you want to clean it up? So she was down. Next, using Murray's, I'm going to go in section by section and just add a little wax on the roots to help it lay flat. Now, I used to do it over top of all the hair, but then it loosens up faster. So you want to make sure that not all throughout the hair, but at least three good sections because it's really hard to get out. So you're going to need a clarifying shampoo to get rid of the wax. But, you know, it's all for this style right now and it's not harming the hair. Now using a medium to hard brush, you just want to brush it into place so you can lock it and get ready for the next section. Now you're just going to do the same exact thing again on the next section.
Now, before I slick the top, I'm just going to separate a little bit of her edges. She's not going to get baby hair, baby hair today, but just a little bit of a, you know, little wave swoops <laughs> going into her pony. So we're just going to take that out and then we're going to slick the rest back. Now using a ponytail holder, not a rubber band and no metal clasp, I'm going to put her hair in a low ponytail. Now using got to be freeze spray I'm going to use this to just get every little piece in place the wax is really doing that but this is just going to add a protective shell Now I'm going to put Sanac paper on it. Um, for those of you who want this, I'll put a link below in the box. Um, and it's just going to hold her hair into place while I put the ponytail on. It's going to make sure it's flat, flat. You want to make sure that every hair is in place because once you spray it down and get that shell on it, and then lay the sand neck strip, it's going to be hard to come back from any little lumps and bumps within the ponytail. So you got to get it flat. Now I'm just braiding the remaining hair all the way to the end. Well, not really to the end because it's so blunt from her trim, it's hard to get the braid all the way down. But you're just going to take another ponytail holder and you're going to secure the end and give the extended ponytail something solid to latch on to.
Now starting at the tip of the ponytail holder, you're just going to start wrapping that weft around the ponytail and you're going to go all the way up. I know I do ponytails on my channel quite often so you probably know the method by now but yep, you're just going to take a hairpin and make sure it's secure and then you're going to wrap that ponytail as tight as you can around the braid. Once you run out of weft, you're going to just take a piece of hair and you're going to wrap it all the way around. You could take some free spray or you could take wax and just make sure it's silky smooth like a ribbon. Um, some people can get it so slick that they don't even need a pin, but I want to make sure that everything is secured.
Now using my flat iron, I'm just going to go over the hair and soak it out a little bit. Of course, we're going to grab the Glass Brilliant Shine and we are going to mist her down with this weightless oil. Now it's time to take off the strips. Always, always, always take the strips off in the direction that the hair is going. If not, you can literally lift the hair up. So you don't want to mess up all your hard work. So just make sure that you do that. Next, taking the lay edge control, we're just going to lay her edges down um, and make them super neat. Now I'm just adding a little more glass because I want it to be shiny like glass. That's why we named it that. So, I mean, get your life. <laughs> and, um, and then I'm going to take this Taurus pin that comes from DeeperThanHair.com. I have every single Zodiac sign. So, go on and get you one. It's so cute. Everybody always stop me and talk to me. It's such a conversation piece. So, go ahead and get yours at DeeperThanHair.com. Well, she likes it, and that's always a good thing. I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I have a good feeling that it's going to be a great year. See you next time.